Ohana means family. Oh, Stitch, that's very sweet. Family means no one gets left behind or forgotten. Yes, it does. Family needs 50 bucks. Yeah, okay, get out. What is up, everybody? Okay, I am very interested to see how this video shall turn out. Number one, because I'm very excited about what we are about to do. Number two, because I have no idea what this video will look like until I edit it, which is both scary and new. As many of you know, there are a lot of vlogs you can check out online featuring story times, people telling you stories of their lives. Coincidentally, I am often referred to as the Storytime Guy because of my Narrating People's Lives series, so I always feel obliged to get in on this. In this video, I shall be presenting you with three story times. However, I won't be the only one telling the story. I shall be getting help from all of you. Earlier, I asked you all to send in Twitter videos of you saying random nouns, verbs, proper nouns, adjectives, and many other things, and I shall use them to fill in the pre-written stories I have, which have quite a few blanks in them. Sort of like a Storytime Mad Libs game. Will they make sense? Who knows, but it should definitely be interesting, so <laughs> let's do this. First, let's start with a fairly common genre of storytelling vlog you might find on YouTube, describing a paranormal experience. Paranormal. Storytime! Did I ever tell you guys about the one time I ended up twerking with a dog? Yeah, it was completely -E -A beautiful. It happened one day when I stumbled upon a Pizza Hut. I was feeling just a little naughty and I thought it might be interesting to crawl for a little while and see what might happen. I fortunately had with me this avocado which I heard could be used for paranormal communication. You take it and you do the following motion and then you say my leg! <laughs> I did so although I must admit I did it kind of swimmingly. Suddenly I heard a very quiet BAM! I'm not gonna lie, that made me just a little messy. This was followed by a sudden and abrupt bloop. I couldn't believe it, but then, I promise you guys, there it was. A Dog! I saw it open its gigantic maw and I heard it say to me, Butts. So now I'm glistening. Right? Who wouldn't be? This is the sort of thing that happens to Dan Howard. But not me. So naturally, I reacted with a hearty Yay! I just had to Oogie. out of there. And I did. If there is one thing I can tell you I learned from this whole experience, it's this. It would have gone better without the anxiety. Okay, that was fun. I kind of want to branch away from YouTube storytelling for a sec and return to more classic storytelling. Let's keep the dark setting and get a little literary. Classic story time. The year was 1887. The place? Uranus or Uranus. <laughs> a scientist toiled down in his lab for hours on end. What was his name? Why it was Alexander Hamilton. What could he be devising, some villagers wondered. What evils lurk within his lab, others thought. I smell like beef, said one villager who most others tended to avoid. None of them could have imagined the truth, for you see, the doctor was attempting to take a dead Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle and bring it back to life. And on this particularly what? night, all of their hard work was about to pay off. During one trial, a bolt of chicken nuggets struck the lab with a great and loud. The doctor at first was dry, but then saw the eyes of his attractive monster opened. It rose from its slate and was a sight to behold. It had two big Hittons? and a long appendix sticking out from its back. It was also holding a baby in one hand. The doctor immediately wondered why he had given it that. But the scariest thing about it was its enormous social anxiety. <laughs> it stood dramatically in the room, let out a very confused chicka blah, and then saw the doctor. It began yodeling over to him. The doctor was not totally tubular. When the monster was right up close to them, it leaned down, pointed a finger at them, and from the very core of its being, it said, My right butt hurts. The doctor immediately reacted by flawlessly pulling off this maneuver. Crack, snackle, pop. The monster, stunned, exclaimed, I don't know where I'm going in life. And fell backwards with a great wallop. It then danced away. The doctor, changed by all of this, sat down at their desk, pulled out their notebook, 
and simply wrote, Pretty frick poop on a stick. Someone is going to die. Nice! Okay, I think we have time for one more. Another big staple of YouTube is the drama! And I've never really taken part in a lot of it, so maybe now, this is my chance. Smack talk! Story time. You all are not gonna believe the story I'm about to tell you. First of all, you know me, right? I'm an incredibly thick, but like with two C's. Guy, I don't try to say with other people, and I don't like to Double. in other people's gelatin. Well, let me tell you, I just had a murder fight with Harry Potter. It started when I was at farmer's market. Just hanging out, doing my thing, chilling with my friends. We were just doing what we do best. Crying. Then, all of a sudden, you know who shows up, just freaking smiling like it's no big deal. I'm telling you, they looked like this. My friends and I were completely chill, completely mysterious. They see us and flutter on over. My friend, the ever so calm one, simply waved and said, I shipped Aaron Burr and Alexander Hamilton before anybody else. A little random, I know, but were they wrong? This other lovely individual looks at the both of us and says, you two are a couple of banana peels. I said, excuse me? And they said, you heard me, you mailman. Sitting there looking all juicy. You guys, I was I could not believe it. My friend once again spoke up and said By all known laws of aviation, there's no way that I told them I should probably handle the talking from here on out. I then said, listen you Flippity gibbet. I don't really appreciate that Fear. Talk around here and maybe you should get out of my Broadway Then they said, I don't really care how you feel. In fact, I don't give a Potato. That's when it was on. I jumped up and started with a and they reacted by delivering a swift uh -huh. My friend even joined in with a little In the end we had to Boop. them until their face turned Dirty yellow and they decided to frolic away. My friend turned to me happily and I'll never forget what they told me that day I'm gay! Okay, done! I have no idea what stories I just related to you, but I hope they were entertaining. <laughs> this is super fun. If you haven't done this kind of game at home, I suggest trying it out because it is always good for a laugh. <laughs> and thank you all who submitted Twitter videos and helped to tell stories with me today. All the links to the original videos can be found in the description below, and I hope you enjoyed today's shenanigans. If you're interested in my previous videos, click over here, and if you're interested in becoming featured Fander, click over here. That's it, and until next time... Wildcats! Get your head in the game! Wait, no, that's not right. Oh yeah! Take it easy, guys, gals, and non-binary pals. Peace out!